Hi guys, it's me, Glamorous Girl 1111, bringing you a brand new tutorial. Today I did a natural glam sort of look. Um, I'm going to be a makeup artist on a play tonight, so I wanted to have, you know, perfect makeup. But I decided to film a tutorial for you guys anyways, not really knowing what I was going to do going into it. But I hope you enjoy this look. It has a bronzy, shimmery eye and a pink lip. Obviously, you could adapt this to your own personal style. You could dress it up or you could way dress it down just by using a hot pink lip with a sort of goldy, bronzy eye. I hope you enjoy this tutorial, and if you do, please subscribe, and let me know what your go-to spring look is down below. Enjoy the video! To start off today, I'm going to use Hourglass number 28 Primer Serum just to the center of my face, just because this foundation can be a little drying, but it is amazingly long-lasting. So I just take this and make sure to put it on my forehead, and right here I get dry down my nose, sides of my face, and I just blend that out with my hands. Now not only does that doesn't reach the outsides of my cheeks, and I really don't need primer here, but just to add a little more, I'm going to use the Foundation Primer in Radiance by Laura Mercier. This is great when you want a little bit of a glow, especially when using such a long-lasting and matte foundation. But I'm going to focus that on my cheeks where it didn't get any primer not avoiding the places I put that other primer. Now for the foundation today, I'm using Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation in the color 1.1. Um, I wouldn't say this is extremely hydrating as a foundation, but as far as long wear things go, it is a pretty good foundation for me. I've decided to use my hands, just spur of the moment. So I'm going to press that on like I did with the primer, and then blend that in. Okay, I brought you a little closer. I thought you guys are a little far away, sorry. But just continuing on, I use my hands, I clean them off with a baby wipe. I'm going to take this Morphe brush and help blend the foundation out, although it's almost already set because I was playing around with the camera. That was a pretty light layer, so again, using the brush, I'm going to take a little bit and put that on the places I need just a little more coverage, and for me, that's the, along this part of my cheekbone, where I just have, I mean my jawline, where I just get a little more redness than I would like, and again, my cheeks in general. So I'm going to apply a second layer. I'm going to go in with a damp beauty blender sponge to make sure I don't have any streaks between the two layers. Once I'm satisfied with that, I'm going to take um, this RCMA Contour Palette, Highlight and Contour Palette, and there's a shade in here that has like a pink eye brightening shade, which is called CS1, and I'm going to dab that just right here where I get the darkest um, part of my dark circles. Just right in this inner corner. So once we have that done, I'm going to take this Revlon Age Defying Targeted Dark Spot Concealer Treatment in the color Light, I believe. I don't know where it says that. Uh, yeah, Light, which is the first shade. I love this concealer. It's amazing. I do powder. It doesn't require powder. But I'm only taking a tiny bit for this because I just want to go over that brightener we already used. So I just rub that in between my two fingers and pat it and kind of a triangular shape, but mostly just this like swoopy shape, and blend that in underneath my eyes. So underneath my eyes, I'm going to be using the Ben Nye Cameo Powder. This is amazing soft focus powder. It's a little too matte for me, but I'm still going to use that underneath my eyes, just a little bit of it, with a setting brush. Um, this is a nameless brush. It's by CC Brushes. I got it at IMAX. But I just like to get the tip pretty powdered up and dab it and then sweep it. The soft focus properties of this powder are great, but it's a little too pink for me to use across my entire face. Next, I'm taking the Laura Mercier Brett, um, 
loose setting powder and translucent with a big fluffy brush again a nameless eye max brush in pink and this is a yellow tone translucent powder i was talking up a storm so i had to fast forward through this part but basically i just applied that throughout my entire face and then i used that big fluffy brush to apply my bronzer which is the hula benefit by by Benefit Bronzer, and then I used a more intense, um, more precise brush and really chiseled out my cheekbones, which I ended up fixing one cheek because I couldn't really see it and it ended up looking a little muddy. Going back with the original brush, brush to blend. I already know the lip color I'm going to be using today, so I'm going to go ahead and just do my blush right now since I know the tone I'm looking for. So first I'm taking MAC Formal Beauty Powder Blush. Um, this was around the holidays, I don't know if they still have it, but I'm just going to be taking that with the same brush I used for my bronzer. This is a yellow toned pink, so it is perfect for the lipstick I'm going to be using today. If you don't know what lip color you're going to use or what the rest of your makeup is going to look like, um, I would recommend doing this step last, but I do like to contour, um, first because I find that I do tend to disturb my eyebrows and sometimes I want to keep my eyebrows looking perfect. Next I'm going in with Lancome's brush in Lush Subtle Rose, or Rose Romantic, actually it's Rose Romantic. And I'm going to be using this slightly darker blush in between where I have the bronzer and the contour, um, and the other blush. Now I like a pretty rosy cheek, so this isn't shocking for me. If you don't, obviously play it down a little bit. And then I'm going to be taking another CC Fashion brush from iMats and going in with NARS um, Albatross highlighter and just using that along the tops of my cheekbones and my cheeks. Since I have dry skin, I'm not shy with this. It's not going to make me look too shiny. Go along the forehead and the chin, go back for more. Run this down the bridge of my nose, and of course my cupid's bow. Now to blend everything out, I'm going back in with, again, that powder brush. And really... The next thing I'm going to do is apply this cream eyeshadow in the color cream by Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Lavish Palette and I'm just going to take this on a MAC 239 brush and put this underneath the brow to set that concealer in place and help blend future eyeshadows. And then I'm going to take that eyeshadow I used for my brows and texture which I rarely do use a warm shade like this. I'm just going to take a little bit of that and run that through the crease. I want something warm because I'm going to be using my favorite eyeshadow of the moment, and that is CoverGirl eyeshadow in 330. It's one of their new individual ones, which aren't that new. And I'm going to be taking that MAC brush again. This is a beautiful brown that blends out to be a lot warmer with that orange tone. And it does have glitter particles in it, which are beautiful and do not fall out that bad. I'm just going to be taking this and packing it onto the lid. Then taking the same color on a MAC 217 brush. I'm going to be blending that uh, over that texture eyeshadow we put down. I don't really want that to show. And then I'm going to take that MAC 239 brush and run this underneath the lower lash line. I'm going to be using another color from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Um, I depotted them, so they're separates. I think I'm going to use the color called Truffle, which is this one right here. A dark, very warm brown. Um, so I'm going to take that on my pencil brush. So then I just added that darker brown into my outer V and going on to the lower lash line. And I blended out with that original MAC 217 brush just to have a flawless looking blend. Again, this is just to add a little more drama and is totally not necessary. And I think I'm going to 
think that's all I want to do. And then, last but not least, I'm going to take this beautiful, beautiful highlight color by Lancome in the color beige, which is a really boring name for this beautiful gold um, shadow. Last but not least, I added this beautiful eyeshadow in the inner corner, just in the tear ducts, blending up and out, but really keeping the intensity in that inner tear duct. Then I'm using this L'Oreal eyeliner and creating a perfect wing, a little bit fatter on the outer edges, and just making sure they match. But this clip is really just of my forehead. I'm out of focus here. But then I blended that in with the shadow brush, and I added Dior Over Curl Mascara, which is my favorite on the top and bottom and fake eyelashes, which are the Demi Wispies. Then I curled my eyelashes all back together, and this is the clip of me doing it, but really all you see is my forehead, and then I added a beautiful lip gloss, the Apocalypse, or I guess they're not called that there, they're called the Show Off, but thank you so much for watching.